What's going on, everyone? So yesterday, the Los Angeles Lakers made a hire of Dr. Leroy Sims as director of player performance and health. Um, I actually really like this, and we're going to dive into it in a moment. But here's a press release for those that maybe didn't see it or aren't aware. Uh, the Los Angeles Lakers today announced the appointment of Dr. Leroy Sims, MD, uh, as director of player performance and health, Dr. Sims will report to Vice President of Basketball Operations and General Manager Rob Palinka and will oversee player medical care and optimization of health and performance. Dr. Sims most recently served as a Senior Vice President, Head of Medical Operations at the NBA, where he developed and implemented uh, innovative uh, health and safety protocols, investigated medical technologies to optimize basketball experiences and conduct medical risk assessment. He is a board certified in emergency medicine and primary care uh, sports medicine and was a key member of the team who executed the medical operations for the NBA bubble in 2020. Dr. Sim served as a team physician for team uh, for USA track and field at the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympics and provided direct medical support to USA basketball at the 2020 Tokyo and 2024 Paris Olympics from 2011 to 2014. Served as a medical director team physician for the Golden State Warriors, Chicago native, earned a Bachelor in Science and Master of Science degree in biology, uh, Biological Science from Stanford University, and a Doctor uh, of Medicine degree from Stanford University School of Medicine, where he has completed a fellowship in primary care sports medicine. Dr. Sims uh, completed his emergency medicine residency at Harbor UCLA Medical Center in Torrance, California reason I wanted to actually read that entire thing is because shows his credentials, shows how uh, qualified he is. Um, you no, know, he was one of the main guys that was part of the team that implemented all the, the health and safety for the bubble, right? This guy that has, you know, uh, just experience at an Olympic level, which is fantastic, right? The Lakers have really made an effort to upgrade just, again, player development, player health player safety, uh, all of those things. And now they've brought in somebody that uh, can help with the medical side of things, right? Because the Lakers have their struggles, right? The Lakers have had their health issues, um, you know, in, in the last recent years. Uh, obviously, last year was a big problem, but bringing in somebody that can kind of help um, kind of get things in order and hopefully keep guys healthy. I mean, obviously, injuries happen Things happen. It's sports, right? It's part of the game. But, you know, if you can kind of minimize as severe of injuries or the frequency uh, of injuries, that would be really good, right? Like you want, you don't want to have half your roster <laughs> essentially hurt every single season. And again, it's been a problem that the Lakers have had uh, dating back to after the bubble, right? I, to this day, believe that the Lakers win back-to-back -back championships if everybody didn't fall apart. I mean, the Lakers were, for a good stretch of that season, um, the number one team in the league once again and upgraded the roster. But then LeBron got hurt, like Dennis Schroeder got COVID and was never the same coming back from that. Obviously, you can't control that, but... You know, you started seeing all the little knick-knack injuries and stuff start to pile up. And then you got to the playoffs. And again, LeBron was on one leg. You had, you know, uh, Andre Drummond was dealing with like a foot injury or toe injury. Uh, and then Anthony Davis ends up getting hurt. Lakers are up two games to one. Look like they're about to go up three games to one. And then AD gets hurt and that's it. Right? And it's just, if we can put together, obviously, again, you want development. Right? If we can have one of the top development programs in the league, that would be fantastic. But if you can also have one of the top medical <laughs> staffs in the league, that would be arguably even better, right? Because, you know, you're going to have players that are going to want to go to the Lakers to better their health, right? You're going to have players that are going to want to go to the Lakers to, to help with some longevity, right? Where it's like, man, you know, like, if I can go to Lakers and, you know, be healthier and be on a, a specific regime in my, you know, early to mid thirties and stuff like that, you just, you, you establish that culture, you establish that program of, of an organization that, you know, Hey, like we're, we're taking this stuff, uh, very serious. Cause again, I mean, 
you look at guys, Jared Vanderbilt, uh, you know, he's still looking and, and looking to rehab an injury and stuff. Um, you know, Gabe Vincent missed all of last season. Uh, Jalen Huchifino is is still trying to, to rehab and all that stuff, right? Like, so we, the role guys, ins and outs, right? You need those guys to be as good and healthy as possible. Again, injuries happen. You know, you're going to have little knick-knack things, little nuance things, and, you know, you're going to have a guy on occasion that's going to have, you know, some type of, you know, significant injury. Hopefully it's not, like, season-ending or anything like that, but, you know, again, injuries are a part of the game. It's a sport. It's a physical sport, right? It's very demanding um, on on just the, the body, and you're playing so many games and minutes and all that stuff, right? Like, it's, it can be very taxing, and so, you know, to, to see the Lakers getting somebody that is, you know, at the top of his craft in this regard um, and really starting to round out kind of just the the medical and the training, I, I'm really excited for this because I do. I, I want to see a healthier season and just healthier seasons in general, right? I, want, I don't want to see years where there's a lot of promise of this team, right? Like It's like, what did this team look like last year had everyone been healthy? You know, like if Jared Vanderbilt and Gabe Vincent and, you know, even like little Rui's things early on. And, you know, it's just, what does this team look like if half of our roster isn't hurt? Right? Like, do we, are we a playoff team and not in the play? Right? Do we beat Denver if everyone's healthy? And, you know, now we're in the NBA finals, you know, as you, as you move on. Right? Like, it's just... It's a big what if. It's something that obviously you can't change, you can't dwell on too much, but it is something that really begs question. But more than anything, I mean, you have LeBron James, who, you know, he's not getting any younger, <laughs> right? LeBron James is 70 in basketball years. So you want as good of a medical staff to to kind of help him and 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 stay on top of him and make sure he's doing well and and kind of help with even just the little knickknack stuff, right? You know, if he has a little foot injury or, you know, his foot's bothering him or, you know, his calf or whatever, right? Like, you know, you you want you want a team around medical wise, you know, that can properly um just keep these guys as healthy as possible. Right? I mean, you know, we we've been at times a complete wreck health wise since Gary Vitti, really. Right, going back then, and it's just like, you know, it's something that has been brought up. I mean, I know we've talked about things like that on like live streams and stuff like that over on As It Stands Lakers and stuff. So, you know, with Le- LeBron and his age, right, and the wear and tear that he just has over all the years, Anthony Davis, obviously. Now, Anthony Davis, to his credit, has been incredibly healthy the last, you know, year and a half, two years, but still, like, you'll want to keep him as healthy as possible, right? He's had his issues over the years right so if you can keep these guys in tip-top shape and you know and help avoid any significant injuries or missing significant time and all that stuff right and and all the the kind of role guys and just young guys and all that stuff all comes with part of the game so I am very excited to see the Lakers really taking these steps taking these strides Right? It's a lot of things that kind of go under the radar for a lot of teams. And and how important it is, especially your medical staff, especially your medical team. You you want to have as good of a medical team as possible because again, you you want to make sure these guys are conditioning correctly and you know taking the right supplements or taking the right medicine or whatever it is that they they need to take for, you know, rehabbing and you know dealing with you know heavy workouts and you know post games and and playing heavy minutes and all that stuff. So, you know, the the medical staff is something that is arguably, you know, the the most important element behind the scenes that there is, you know. So, I, I am I'm very excited for this and uh I'm I'm looking forward to hopefully a, a very healthier season, right? So, fingers crossed in that regard cuz you know, we really need it. Again, injuries are part of the game. It happens. LeBron will probably miss some games. Anthony Davis probably miss some games. You'll have guys on this Laker roster miss some games next year. That's fine. But hopefully we can get away from, 
you know, like Jared Vanderbilt missing basically the entire season and Gabe Vincent basically missing the entire season, stuff like that. It'd be nice to, you know, hey, you know, hey, a guy's out for a week, okay, and then he's back and he's good. And it's not this persistent, like, oh, dude's hurt every couple days. You know, the guy can't play more than two games and he's hurt. So, anyway. As always, this is a discussion. I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, are you hyped on this as I am? Do you think, like, yeah, this is great. This is what you want to see. Lakers are really taking the the health and safety of the, the players serious, right? They're, they're obviously, again, building out and, and putting together a really good development program. You, you want to have the, the complimentary side of that and and health and safety and, and making sure your players are good. You know, is this something that you're you're really excited for and look at as as a real step and in a positive direction. Um however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me not so we enjoy these types of videos. Truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.